Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to make a video on my first spoiler-free reaction to the new movie Dune, which I think is coming out in the theaters today, but was on HBO Max yesterday. Uh, and as you may know from watching the channel, I don't watch a lot of new release movies, but lately I've been doing it, and I think companies like HBO have been doing a great job at releasing movies that you can watch at home. So I think since the pandemic, my wife and I really haven't gone to the movie theater as much as I love the movie theater, but we've been kind of tempted to watch these new movies as they come out. And I have to say, I think it's really working. I really um, have been enjoying that experience. I did a, a reaction to the new Halloween Kills a little while back. And last night we, we thought since HBO Max was showing the new Dune movie that we would give that a try. And I have to say, right off the bat, I absolutely loved it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I know there's a lot of articles about it um, out today uh, about, you know, criticisms and things like that. But I really, I really enjoyed it. So this is going to be my spoiler free reaction to the movie. Uh, I should say also, too, that obviously there was a another version of the movie out, which was this one, the 1984 version of Dune directed by David Lynch. And uh, and there's the back of that one. This is my Blu-ray copy of that. Um, there's also uh, a movie that never happened from um, Alejandro Jodorowsky, uh, who was supposed to make the movie Dune. And there's a documentary out there called Jodorowsky's Dune, which I've ordered. I've seen it, I believe, years ago, but I, I didn't have a copy of it. So Dune's had quite a history. Uh, obviously, there obviously it's based on a book as well. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things I really enjoyed about the movie. First of all, the visual elements of the movie, the style of the movie, is just simply amazing. The special effects, um, some of the new technology that's shown in the movie, uh, you know, really, really impressive. And sometimes, again, I know there's been a little bit of criticism about the visual, uh, you know, effects in the movie versus the story. But I have to say, I thought they were very impressive and and uh again lots of new ideas lots of architecture lots of light and darkness um uh so you know there's i think this is in the trailer too so i don't think this will be a spoiler but there's a specific kind of spaceship that basically looks like a dragonfly that's that's amazing to watch also so uh so that's, you know, first and foremost, one of the things I really enjoyed about the movie. And it really doesn't distract me from the story at all. Uh, I have to say we put the movie on probably around seven o'clock last night. It's a two and a half, it's about a two and a half hour uh, uh, film. And sometimes I have to take a break during a film that long. And, and I have to say I was mesmerized the whole time. I really enjoyed it. So the performances by all of the actors were amazing, but specifically uh, Timothy uh, Chalamet, uh, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, uh, Charlotte Rampling, I thought had an amazing, uh, she's been an actress for many, many years, but I thought she had an amazing uh, part in this movie. Uh, Javier Bardem, Zendaya, and Jason Momoa. Uh, I thought everyone was just amazing. Uh, even, the, even some of the smaller parts I thought were uh, really well done in this movie. The other thing I did is as I was watching the movie it was making it was reminding me of some other films and i just wrote down a list of these i'm not sure why in the movie i was reminded of these movies but i uh just wrote down a just a running list so uh this movie reminded me of Waterworld. it reminded me a lot of shakespeare for some reason i think um uh, just because of the style of the movie game of thrones f for sure uh star wars uh there's a lot of uh it just reminded me of Star Wars. Also, for some reason, The Godfather too. There's, there's just the, just the pacing of the movie and the, and the characterizations for whatever reason reminded me of The Godfather saga. Uh, Hunger Games, Walking Dead, Westworld, Blade Runner, of course. The director directed Blade Runner twenty forty nine and The Mandalorian. So a lot of the, to me, a lot of the visual elements reminded me of many of those films and the, and the, uh, and the plot of the movie too. So all in all, I would say. I highly recommend this movie. And again, I don't see a lot of movies as they as they come out, but uh, this is one that I, it's you know one of the best movies I've seen all year, I have to say. So if you get a chance, if you're planning to see Dune later today, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the movie, what you thought of it. I'd really be interested to hear your reaction to it as well. 
Uh, and if you liked some of the other Dune-related things, like the book, for example, or the movie from 1984, or Hodorowsky's documentary, um, or the documentary about him in the making, or the not making of the movie. <laughs> um, so uh, again, all in all, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, thanks for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, click on like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Lots of great things coming on the channel. Uh, so I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well. And I'll talk to you soon.